they're not direct. It's like a lot of sneak this and the and shit. You just kind of have to like, have to be like, I'm not tripping, right? You know, it, it's yeah. usually that. You, you don't want to be in this whole the man is trying to get me or whatever, but you have to acknowledge that this does exist and this did happen to kind of cause this. So that's kind of where the theme I think of today's show goes and some of the topics we have. So. Topics. First one we have is uh, well, uh, you want to go into messaging? Oh yeah, go ahead. I mean, like I can tell you because I work in IT. Oh, oh I'm sorry, I'm not supposed to say that out loud. I work in IT, people. I work in IT. Okay, going on a slippery slope. <laughs> you know, oof. and you know, people look at me and ask me questions like, "Oh, you're supposed to know this and everything," but I understand because you have a lawyer. I mean, you, you have that, that lightweight thing that... <sighs> lightweight. Of course you would add light to it. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, you have that, that, that lightweight thing where I work with um, some of the, the good doers, the, the do-gooders in the world, and um, they send out one of these like uh, big emails, and they're saying, we're, we're hiring for a um, Hispanic outreach person, and the emails only want to people now, who are of Latin descent. <laughs> And I was like, yo, what if I fucking spoke like great Spanish and shit and I'm, you know, deep in the barrios and all of that shit, See? but because I'm not, you know, named Rodriguez, it, it's weird. It's yeah. weird how that works. It's just like, yeah, we're going to use you in this way to kind of be this advocate, this, this, you know, this person that's going to be in this position to mm-hmm. get us over in this demo. Because that's all people are. Do you have that shoulder look at your job, too? Do you have that shoulder look at your job, What's the shoulder look at? Looking. That one person that always asks questions that always come by and say, "Hey, what time are you leaving?" Oh. Y and Z. Hey, when'd you get here? Hey, when? How much you get paid? You never yeah. had that before? No, nah, apparently I'm a scary black man. Oh really. my god, it's, it's, a, it's a lot of W's at the job, man. Oh. I mean, <laughs> maybe the best term for them. <laughs> yes, whip up. <laughs> whip up. <laughs> Let it whip up. Let it whip up. So in terms of some of the stores here? Yeah, I mean, speaking of messages, we got this old... Slight return? <laughs> Day of genius. Can I be the first to say... So we're talking about what, the XFL? Yeah, time right. is a flight fucking system. In the sense of... We, so you say the we're talking about well. something. You say the earth is flat. I never said earth is flat. Earth is round as shit. All right. Earth is a spear. Continue. Above B.O.B. But, you know... <laughs> <laughs> Shouts out. <laughs> but ain't got nothing on you. Time is a flat circle in the sense of we can talk about something that happened in 2000, right? And it comes back around, and we're still talking about it. So it's like we no talked about stuff. Monique last week. Last time we talked about Monique was what? The Parkers? She's precious. Precious like, 2000. Come on now. We so we were this close to having a segment about some of the great Monique memes. <laughs> we were that close. Close. <laughs> So, go on, go on. Okay. so, this man, Vince. Vincent Kennedy McMahon. Vinny Mac, as they call him. Vinny Mac. Yes. <laughs> Keep it up, my <laughs> nigga. <laughs> genetic jackhammer. <laughs> Damn, yes. he looks old. So, I think Vince it, is not going to make it for that XFL <laughs> like, launch. I don't think he's going to make it. He's taking over, Shane. Oh, shit. He jumps off of the fucking he Shane Strong at the XFL game. game. So, he decided to do his little presser, which, by the way, was, was heavily rumored for a while. Yeah, because he sold all the stock, right? He, he sold $100 million of his stock to put up for XFL. I think there's extra money in there right. by a certain you-know-who, you know, Mr. Tiki Torch. Oh, you know, yeah. You know, he had something involved with it because of his feud with the NFL. Sure. So it's kind of like, oh, this is a coincidence. Right. Kind of a scene. His press conference was talking about, you know, we Can we call him the Trump shaker? I like calling him President Tiki Torch. It sounds better. I think Trump Shaker's better. Trump Shaker. All I'm gonna do is a zoom, zoom, All zoom, zoom, zoom. Is the port, port, port. <laughs> the port, port, port. <laughs> go on. Just build the wall. Right. <laughs> go on. Stupid. But. <laughs> Stupid as shit. <laughs> but, um, basically what's going on, his press was talking about how we see players who hold themselves accountable, X, Y, and Z. And then the rules came out. Mm. There's no cheerleaders, there's gonna be a this. Mm. 
No players with police records. Which, by the way, I'm kind of like, uh, you really shouldn't have to announce that. Kind of yeah. Thing. But we kind of know where you're going at. And then he said all players have to stand for the anthem. So what he's doing in a very dog now, whistle kind of way, CPAs, he's hit it for like that center you. cut, middle America, it, salt of the earth, Tiki Torch well, kind of group of you're going to respect this authority. He's going for the people who said fuck the NFL yeah. because of the anthem protest, but he's going after them in the sense of oh, these are the people who wasn't watching football to begin with. They just needed a reason to be fucking angry. Now they have something to go to. It's like also, he needed to clean up that extortion money from Russia, but that's a different story. Um, Here, here's the problem. Here's the problem. Like, <laughs> if you look at people who aren't NFL worthy because that's who you're going to be going after. Well, who are you to watch? That was my thing. My thing is, you go after. The thing is, don't tell people they go for the police record because this should be like a last chance. Because he don't have Johnny Manziel. No, he's going to get Johnny Manziel. But doesn't he have a record? He's white. Yeah. That's, that's, so he's already. He, he, right. <laughs> it's like, yo. No. Do as I say, not as I do. Look how many wrestlers. <laughs> that son of a bitch, he's on the field right now. Yeah. Really? He's like, no, nah, we're not with that. He probably gave a political answer. Good religious company, right? Good Christian values. I mean, but isn't he like signed to like the Mets? So it's like. Well, I mean, he's minor league. Yes. He's going to bring. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we both can go out like. You know, I ain't going. Like fuck that. I ain't going to play for that. You can be a nose tackle. I'd rather be a practice squad player just making seven thousand dollars on my account trying to pick up chicks at TJ Fridays. Wow, <laughs> very specific. Look, that's what that's what happens though. You see these practice squad players. Yeah, I play for practice squad. But you're the BJ Sams of the world. Like you don't play, <laughs> you are trash. <laughs> you're like, yeah, I'm five six, but I play full of heart. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> but but back, back back to that that hidden message that's there when you have these like false rules that you know don't hold any water. You're gearing towards like, yeah, you know, brothers. They're out here, they're getting arrested for X, Y, and Z, and it's just like, look, uh, do you, are you doing this or are you not doing this? Your boy got arrested. Who? Good. What? No, because it's ridiculous. I was talking about earlier. <laughs> $15 like like car charger. charger. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, God damn. No. That's, that's the point. So if he didn't, if he wasn't in the NFL, right, he would be barred based on these bullshit rules. These, these, yeah. K-fame, these bullshit rules that the new XFL has. K-fame rules. <laughs> these kayfabe rules. <laughs> he wouldn't be able to get in for a fucking $15 like, I, iPhone charger. Nah, he, he, you can run like a man's house Yeah. I guarantee you, man's house going to be the first pick. You know who's the first black quarterback? He wants this to be the US. You know who the first black quarterback they're going to me? Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> RG3 is going to be the first quarter. They're going to start to say, hey, we don't have cap, but we have RG3. Did you not like kind of see that with the offseason? Like, yeah. yeah. Did, did you see that with the offseason with the Ravens bringing in cap? And they were like, oh, we tried out RG3 also. And he's like, RG3s became that you know, Messiah in D.C. But I, but to that guy that says, hey, we like black people. We try to learn. I mean, that's, that's the thing. Like, <laughs> even looking at it a little bit deeper, I know I touched on it before, but, you know, the NFL thing, when they were showing, what was it, like, two Super Bowls ago, they were showing, um, like, Cam. Cam stats of, like, six or seven years in the league versus Peyton's career and, mm-hmm. and just showing numbers, no context. Yeah. It's just that idea of, like, yeah. supremacy, what have you. And it's just, like, that shit, like, really pissed me off. It's like, no one's seeing this? Like, if you didn't have any, if you didn't care about the score, but you're just looking at these numbers, you're like, yeah, obviously it's better. Yeah. But it's like, without context. I mean, people forget Peyton Manning was ass as rookie season. He threw like, what, 29 or something? Like, but, you know, we let that pass. You know, it took him, like, how many years to get his first Super Bowl, even though people were kind of the greatest of all the time. But, you know. But, you know, yeah. Uh, Privilege! Let's switch gears. Well, yeah, it's like, you know, like I said, it's a flat circle. Time always comes back around. So, and speaking of fucking time, 
Is it Bitcoin time? <laughs> it's not Bitcoin time. Uh, we have two people feuding in the most ridiculous thing you've ever seen. Based off of the rap, are they rappers? They are rappers. Shit. <laughs> it's one of the most. It's one of those feuds that you remember. You're like, oh, you know, this shit was hot. I'm like, yo, Early two, when I was in high school. <laughs> when I was in <laughs> elementary school, you know, fifth grade here at Go 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 Start. Way to shame me, by the way, on that age thing. <laughs> when I got high school, but I was in elementary school. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah, but so you're so you're talking new fifty and job. Fifty and fucking job rule found a way to find themselves back. Into <laughs> this is why I mentioned Bitcoin. Look at this picture, dude. <laughs> right, New York. <laughs> you know he made millions off of Bitcoin. He didn't even know about it. See. If I were him, I would shut the fuck up. I would too because of the, the bank lawsuit. Yeah. yeah. It's like if you're bankrupt, you're like, oh, I just found this money that was just sitting, you know, around in cryptocurrency yeah. for years. But what's the, 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 what's the team? So, with so you know, he's in a movie called Dinner Thieves. I went to see it. It was okay. I didn't have a problem with it. It was, it was just like every other high school film for me. Okay. I mean, once you see him, you kind of see all the twists and everything. Twists and turns. Twists and, yeah. So, Ice, Ice Cube's son did something very stupid. He said something very stupid. Spoiler alert. No, not in the movie. Okay. In the interview. Right, you cool. know, with Big Boy. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. <laughs> so, so what, what did he say? What did he say? So, they were talking about, like, listening to music one night. Ice Cube's son, dumbass, decided to say, O'Shea well, Jackson I was Jr. listening to O'Shea, J- O'Shea Jackson Jr. Yes. That's hilarious, by the way. But go on, go on. But he was like, yeah, I was listening to Ja Rule in the car, and 50 took the CD and threw it out the window. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then Big Boy was like, <laughs> <laughs> so Big Boy was like, oh, so what? I thought you and Ja got over it. Like, you know, what would happen if yeah, we yeah. see Ja right now? And 50 was like, I'm going to slap his ass, of course. Jesus. And then O'Shea was like, nah, man, I didn't mean for this to happen. This was not my goal. It was not my goal. Not my design. Dude, shut up. No, you knew what you were doing. Your dad is Ice Cube. How many Fuse has you been in? Yeah. Like, <laughs> I remember no Vaseline. I, mean, <laughs> I remember King of the Hill. All right. Oh. That's fine. Oh, that was a good diss, by the way. Uh, but, it, it, again, it's like two dudes with varying degrees of success. Well, yeah. And then Ja Rule decided to get on Twitter. It was like, I'm going to say this in my Ja Rule voice. Go ahead. Yo, 50 thought. He could talk about me on this radio show. <laughs> he had his name in my mouth. I think he wants dick in my mouth for real. Murder. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Say, say it better. <laughs> oh, I said it. Oh, wait, pause. <laughs> that was rewind. super suspicious what you just so said. Rewind. <laughs> but, yeah. And then he kept talking about fit through Twitter all this whole time. And then I was thinking to myself, aren't you still getting sued for the fire Festival incident? I'm both of you in your forties, like, you know, like both of you in like, your go. mid forties. They keep bringing up the police report and everything else. I'm like, man, aren't we over this now? Didn't your career go to jail? Yes. I mean, like, aren't you doing like these church movies and shit? <laughs> Preacher's daughter. Yeah. Isn't Irv Gotti doing a show on BET now? Yeah. Is it called Tales? I don't watch it. Oh. All right. He's like a producer or something. Yeah, he's like. Yeah. I heard mix. I heard mix. I heard some people said it was really good. Some people said it's not good. But I'll probably check it out one day. But if I have the guts to see something made by Earth Gotti. But from the standpoint of what I was kind of touching on, I think with the fact that both of them are, I guess, when I was not looking and having varying degrees of success. Like uh, Ja Rule's career is much maligned in recent probably 10 years at this point, maybe longer. But yeah, a bunch of number one singles. I mean, which J-Lo, yeah. You know, he had a few, you know, singles. But, you know, he had radio play. And, you know, 50 has his bread or what have you, but neither one of them are, like, topping the charts. Not anymore. Well, I, mean, I mean, people still blame 50 for killing New York hip hop, which I still think is ridiculous. But the, the problem is, it's, Hot 97 it's this idea that only one person should be able to do this. Yeah, well, that's with anything. That's like female rap now. There's like people are saying, yeah, notice the, why notice can't there be more than one? But notice the genre. Yeah. You don't have like, yo, fucking Zed Lepton, Led Zeppelin can't, you know, go against like Aerosmith. It's like, Fuck okay, Metallica. you do your thing, I'm gonna do my <laughs> thing. You don't have like the 
Right, you don't have like Metallica releasing the diss record back in like 85 and shit. That would've been not amazing, happening. by the way. Just Can you seeking, imagine him saying, this fuck room. Steven Tyler. <laughs> he does a whole lot of coke. <laughs> Just throw a mic stand at him. But you, know, you don't have that. You only have that in like our genre, but only... But, like, of course we have that in our genre. But not even like, like heavy, like back in the day, like you watch like these old hip hop documentaries. Mm. You'll have like you'll have them shading each other, but not to the degree that they do it. I'm now, not sure because like, if we're talking the fine early rap, like kind of like Run DMC. Oh, mm, I mean, was it LO Disky? Um, like, cool Herc, but not in the same way to this. Cool Mo did, yeah, but not to the same degree as this. It may be because they weren't the same size. Platform. I mean, yeah. look, look at Boogie Down and Marley Marley. Roxanne cool. Chantel is only good. 10 on 10. 10 on 10. I mean. Roxanne's only good for study pumping. <laughs> he went in on him. This is pretty <laughs> ridiculous. But when you watch those documentaries, you do have that air of like respect. Yeah. Of like, I'm trying to think it was a, maybe DMC when he was talking about Rock Kim. He's like, shit, I know I'm done. He's like, I listened to what he said. He's like, I know I'm fucking done. I'm just going to get in my car and leave. I'm I done still, with rap. I still need to see his comment. And if he comes to another comment, Should have actually. I should have asked that first time last year. So like, damn, I should have asked him that. All right, let's move to the next thing with the rapperish person. Uh, rapperish, the Medusa rap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I call it the Medusa rap. Oh. That's not an insult. No, I mean, I feel like with her, like if you date her, you have a name. Or no bird elite. I mean, you gotta be. I mean, you gotta think of Andre first. But what is her name? No bird You know, elite. Miss Erica Badu, the lovely. Yes. Lovely and talented. Lovely and talented. Date her, you won't change. <laughs> you gonna, Shout you out, Common. <laughs> I was telling someone, I was like, you remember when Common was dating Erica and he turned to that electric circus bullshit? <laughs> <laughs> you took the words right out of my mouth, by the way. I mean, I like that album, but I was like, eh. No, you had the cane going again. every day, like the net it. The net it. Like, <laughs> the Marvin like, Gaye. He did everything more. <laughs> it was like, more than like one of those like yeah. herbal food shops and shit. <sighs> Miss Erica. Bless her heart. So, so what's the interview about? <sighs> Bless her heart, man. Uh-huh. She was doing an interview talking about, you know, digital records and whatnot. And right. saying, well, one, we can't smoke joints. We can't roll joints to digital records because they're digital. Right. So then she was talking about the people. You know, she sees good in everyone. So the, inter- the new interview was being a dick talking about Hitler. And then she was like, you know, Hitler wasn't. And then she was kind of saying, well, Hitler was a great painter. <laughs> it's something and then like she was like, what does him being a great painter have to do with a good person? And then she was like, okay, maybe he wasn't a great painter. But <laughs> <laughs> And then she was talking about how she felt bad for his childhood and everything. And I was like, oh, damn, Erica. How you fall for it? Well, she, she fell into the trap, but I'm not yeah. against her notion. Like, because we, we do this thing, we'll, we'll demonize people. Quickly, just sight unseen, no context, and just you're bad. You did this, you're bad. Yeah. But you don't learn what the motivations behind these things would be to actually try to remedy them. You don't have that compassion for like, from a very like human standpoint. I think that was another thing she said in there that she's a humanist. Yeah. So like, from from that standpoint, sure. But she could change me. Uh, <laughs> in a very gorilla monster kind of way. Look, she can Will you stop? I, look, man, I'll be wearing all the knitted stuff also. You'll be speaking in very weighty like this. Yeah, you know, the way it's revolution. Oh. <laughs> Stop talking like Yo Scott Heron and shit. <laughs> I want, oh, but I was gonna say, I want my way home. <sighs> it's the, a great uh, song. Me and the Devil is a strong tune. He has a lot of great songs. Yes, he does. Um, but it's that thing where it's like, okay, you said this thing about this person. Like, it's, it's kind of like, like now. If you say, yeah, Trump's not a complete piece of shit. Then people are at your door with the pickets ready to. Yeah, well, because the wave is now just say fuck Trump, and then everybody's gonna be like, yeah, I agree with you. So that's how it's it like, is. He can breathe, like you know, he's a person. He's, right? He is a person. Now he's an alien. You're I wrong. Mean, <laughs> but he is a person, whether good or bad. Well, you know, that's mostly. up to your perspective. Mostly bad. Yeah. yeah. But but as far as I Hitler, wasn't, I wasn't feeling it because I felt like she's better than that. You know, you've been. Long enough to know how to dodge. But you know 
she can, she can she can she, she, she's Erica fucking Badu. I don't yeah. go and stop her from saying anything. Right. But I'm saying, you know, you can dodge stuff like that. Not Just miss me with the people. bullshit kind of thing? Yeah. Because I freaked it. You heard that song? Yes. <laughs> I mean, if I were in an interview, I'd probably say something like, why are you asking me that stupid ass question? That's what I would have said. Like, why would you ask but then, me? But then you have the other byproduct of, like, yeah, like that's a very Erica answer. But to when, to put myself in that scenario, if it were me, and I guess what one represents, because that's the messaging that's there. What you represent is, you know, you're like for her and brother. You're this weird black shit. You know, not really. Who's the interviewer? I'm not sure. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. It was a vanity interview. Kind of know. Can I shake vanity a little bit? You, you can shake we, we every fucking publication you can shake right now. <laughs> Fuck complex. Okay, did you, did you see the uh, the cover for the new vanity? No. So. With the whole over 2020 thing we had, I thought it was like interesting when, like symbolically, when the season of the middle of the war was given from Reese Witherspoon. Oh, like, oh, yeah, you know, white women are saying you're you're good enough to do this because you know Hillary the mix did, message, yeah. didn't get the layup. Yeah, and it's like you want know, to cover Vanity Fair. It's literally Reese Witherspoon is sitting in her lap, mm-hmm. and I think another like white chick. I forget who it is. It's another blonde white chick. I forget who it is, but. They're sitting right there, and then every other person of color is on the side, a skew to the side. So it's Oprah, these two blonde women, and then everyone else to the side. It is super strange, dude. Well, yeah, that's our quote-unquote black messiah. Uh, I agree, but still, the message is there, dude. <laughs> it's there, man. Yeah, you all, yes, I mean... It's just like, okay, yeah, because you have this money, you have this class, you're now on the because in Vanity Fair, they have a history. If you look back at that LeBron James cover with him and Giselle. With the uh, King Kong one. Yeah. Like I remember that. Pinnacle, specifically, blonde white women on the pinnacle of beauty. So yeah. these people that represent womanhood are allowing this person to be in the same tribe as them. And money is what got it. And, and at least what I'm seeing, maybe I'm wrong, but that's what I'm seeing. It, well, even the messaging, when they symbolically handed her the award at the, um, what was it, Golden Globes? Golden Globes, Globes yeah. It's just like, oh, yeah, you know. And you, you can run now for presidency, too, because, you know, you're qualified. Yeah. I got it. I, it's more of a, okay, we can mold you into something. We've been molding you for a while. She, she so now we're telling need need you, it. let's move you further. He doesn't need that. She's a self-made person, from what I understand. Yeah. So, you know. You know, it's funny. Monique actually did a nice little interview about that. But we're not going to go. We're not talking about Monique. Monique. This is a no Monique zone. <laughs> no Monique zone. <laughs> We're Monique-less. Monique-less. So we can hit that break, sir. We are good, I guess. Yeah. yeah no. So any, any further things before we hit that, uh, that art? We have an interview coming up. Yes, we do. Okay. Guest in studio. Guest in the studio. Allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> we may or may not have a guest, just to let you know. Yeah. <laughs>